There's some common problems that people have when they move. Number one, when people move into the new space, have they considered everything that's going to go in there from a technology standpoint? And that really means your internet and infrastructure. Have you thought about those things? Have you thought about where they're going to go and how they're going to work? That's, that's probably the most common uh, thing that I see that people haven't thought about that or they haven't planned for it or they haven't coordinated it within an appropriate amount of time uh, to move. So that's, that's really the big one that I see out there. So in other words, people think about it last and it's too late. <laughs> well, I, you know, I think people have it on their to-do list. And so the people I work with oftentimes, it's a, it's a week or two out from move day. And they say, hey, uh, you know, we're going to move and we need some help. And it's kind of a sudden deal. And, um, you know, can you guys come and move our technology? We say, sure. Uh, and then the first question I ask is, have you talked to your internet provider? Uh, is there internet already available in, in this space? And if you're building a space you're moving into, that, that internet is not going to be in there. And it takes several months to get it put in. And if you're moving into an existing space, you know, sometimes it's in there, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's quick to turn on and sometimes it's not. But oftentimes, unless someone like us or maybe operations is, is pulled into a move very, you know, months out, sometimes those things can be forgotten. And then it's a, and it's a real problem trying to get those things thrown in at the last minute. And in addition to that, Ryan, the infrastructure and the cabling that needs to be in place and properly tested and labeled, that stuff needs to be in. And that can take several weeks as well. So it sounds like preparation is key with any relocation, which I think everybody Correct. agrees with. I, I think that not having a checklist of those sort of action items uh, is, is a critical component because without mm -hmm. that, you don't know when, what's going to happen, where, how do you time everything correctly? Right, right. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest problems or, or one of the most common problems that I see is just when do you engage the movers? When do you engage the IT company? When do you yeah. engage the copier vendor? Um, you know, you're so focused on building out your space. It's easy to forget the other pieces of those pie that need planning, that need yeah. time because nobody, no vendor can just move that afternoon. Uh, and if they do, it's really expensive. So there's a, a time <laughs> cost benefit right. analysis. Take some bribes. I'm not going to lie. I've done it before. <laughs> but come on, come on, copier company. Take some magic. Let me buy you lunch like and we'll, we'll go move a copier real quick because uh, everybody forgot. So yes. I, I think those are some real common challenges that companies face because, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's really easy from a business owner aspect to say, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll let my office manager deal with it or my executive assistant deal right. with it. And they've got it handled and out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. And they have a real job to do. Right. That's probably keeping them 110% busy already. Throw a corporate move in the mix yeah. and it's impossible. Yeah, there's one more component I wanted to address as a general common problem that we'll talk about more later is the expectation that stuff's going to work when people walk in on Monday morning, that it's going to work, it's going to be tested and everything else. Well, there's a lot of components that go into to executing a move in such a way where when you when you know the team walks in Monday morning, everything just works, right? And so that is a common problem. If you haven't taken that into account, uh, how are you going to set up the technology? How are you going to test the technology? How are you going to verify that this stuff works and is proper before the team even uses it? But that's a very common problem as well. It's not really... Uh, putting a plan in place to execute that. Yeah, I've, uh, I remember a friend of mine telling me about how they moved offices. They literally told everybody, just grab everything off your desk, yep. put it in your car, and we'll see you Monday morning. Right. And the whole next week was wasted as far as lost productivity Setting because everybody was busy up. setting stuff up and mm -hmm. kind of getting settled. And it, it just, I don't think it was an efficient use of, of people's time. But again, right. we weren't involved. Right. Yeah. That, so that's, that's one of the, one of the many, many gotchas.